Okay. Uh, first of all, I will introduce myself. My name is uh, Li Hao, and uh, I'm a cloud uh, computer engineer from China Mobile. Uh, this is my partner, <laughs> uh, Dr. Tan Chi Ming. He is a PTL of Sunlin. And uh, uh, two years ago, I have a topic, uh, 1,000 uh, uh, the architecture and the deployment and the optimization of uh, 10,000 uh, cloud, uh, public cloud cluster in China, Mo China Mobile. And uh, this time I will uh, introduce or I will share the new topic, the managing clusters of thousands of VMs use, using Selene. <clears throat> Next. Uh, we will talk about the topic from six aspects. I will introduce the OpenStack at China Mobile and the China Mobile's requirements for large scale cluster. Uh, then Dr. Tan will uh, talk about uh, uh, something about Selene and uh, he will tell us something about the important about Selene and she will also talk about the challenges and the uh, solutions uh, we solve the problem. Uh, after the, uh, uh, then the uh, Dr. Tan will show the results of the test, both before the optimization and uh, after optimization. At the last, the Dr. Tan will talk about the future work for Selene. <clears throat> now let's talk about something uh, in uh, China Mobile's public cloud or private cloud. In the construction of the cloud computing, China Mobile has spent a lot of human and financial resources. Now we have one public cloud with two ports and one private cloud with two ports. The public cloud are located at uh, Guangzhou, the south of China, and uh, the Beijing, the capital of China. Both of the ports has about 100 nodes, and the Guangzhou port has 600 NOAA computer nodes and uh, has uh, so, uh, has uh, 13 controller nodes, include three Selene nodes, which deploy the Selene API and uh, Selene en engine on them. Other nodes contains 115 object storage nodes and 115 block storage nodes. 13, uh, and we also have uh, 17 SDN and uh, NFV nodes. The number and the deployment and the architecture between the Guangzhou pool and the Beijing pool are the uh, same. Now our, uh, now our public cloud is online now uh, with the function of the selling or with the power of selling. Our private cloud has two pools. Each pool have, have a 3,000 nodes. Two resource ports are located in Harbin and uh, uh, in Huahaoche. Harbin is in north of China, northeast of China, and uh, Huahaoche is in north of China. And we hope in the middle of the uh, 2017, our private cloud can be online, and uh, there's no doubt that we will deploy the Zenlin service for our private cloud too. <clears throat> Next. Why China Mobile has a strong design to build a multi-resource OpenStack pool in large scale? First of all, China Mobile has 800 
million end users and more than 1,000 important business partners. Our users trust us and hope us to build a reliable, cheaper, and uh, uh, schedule public uh, cloud for them to use. Here is a here is an example, M Cloud. In China, a large number of users want to back up their local fire into cloud. So we developed a, a new cloud called uh, M Cloud. It is same as the Dropbox. You can upload your photo, your documents and the videos to M Cloud, and we will keep the file safe. This picture is the M Cloud portal. We hope you can visit it and use it. Uh, 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 China Mobile has used a large scale physical machine to build this uh, cloud and serve a lot of enterprise users and uh, individual users. Second, China Mobile provides a lot of <coughs> internal and uh, external service in order to improve physical machines utilization and uh, reduce cost and uh, increase service realities. We should migrate some of the service into cloud. For example, China Mobile's internal business analysis system and uh, in uh, internal R&D system now is uh, well migrating to the cloud. And third, by using China Mobile's public cloud management platform and uh, private platform, all the resources include uh, computing, networking, storage, uh, centralized manager and controlled. It reduced reduce operation and maintenance cost and enhance the ability to use and manage all the resources in different data center. Fourth, we think building a more large scale OpenStack cluster in different region let the end use can choose the nearest pool to create and use their resource. This makes the service and the resource close to end user. Uh, next slide, uh, I will, uh, Dr. Ten will okay. introduce us uh, something. Okay, uh, thank you, Hal, for the background introduction. Um, this, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, a little bit of background about the sending project. Uh, I know. Uh, from the keynote uh, talk uh, this week, uh, a lot of people, f for them, this is their first summit. So maybe not a lot, uh, a lot of people uh, know about this project. Sydney <coughs> is a position as the class and service on OpenStack. And we started this project um, two years ago. And uh, the main uh, targeted use cases is about auto scaling, auto heating, and um, that's the uh, high availability, load balancing, and flexible <coughs> resource pool creation and management. Um, on this diagram, I'm showing the um, high-level design, high-level architecture of the sending. So uh, the left-hand side, you can see we have sending command line interface, and uh, we have OpenStack, OpenStack client uh, uh, plug-in for this as well. Uh, our friend from Huawei had contributed uh, the sending dashboard, which is the Horizon plugin. You can use it today, although the feature is pretty limited uh, so far. And we have Python and Java bindings uh, contributed from some other developers. So uh, we have sending API talking uh, to the sending engine. Uh, by default, you will get the two uh, engines deployed. And uh, what the service do is uh, it calls the back-end services. Uh, today we support Nova Server and HeatStack as our main profiles. Uh, that's an important concept in sending a design. A profile basically tells us how to create, update, delete, 
retrieve a resource, and that is all. We will uh, take over all the resource group uh, building and operation work. Uh, when managing such a, a resource pool, uh, we also have some built-in policies. These policies will help tell you uh, how to manage the cluster a more smart, uh, in a smarter way. For example, we have scaling policies which, which is pretty similar to the AWS and heat uh, 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 design. We have health policy which uh, you can attach to a cluster so that you can uh, help um, uh, do failure recovery for uh, the cluster. And the division policy that tells you uh, when and uh, how to choose a, a, a victim node to delete when you want to scale in a cluster. And affinity and other uh, cross reason cross availability zone placement policy that allows you to deploy a cluster, uh, a large scale cluster. Um, the load balancing policy is based on the LBAS, uh, LBAS v2 implementation uh, in OpenStack. And that is a pretty high level view of the sending uh, project. Um, here is a more detailed uh, view of the sending server design. So um, the left hand side we have the API, which, which is pretty much what other projects do. And here we have the engine uh, uh, component, and uh, the API communicates with the engine through uh, RPC. And that is the core components. That are the core, core components of the sending server. All the other components are plugins. Okay. So uh, one concept here we have uh, uh, is profile. A profile uh, we implemented today, uh, heat stack profile and Nova server uh, profile. And also recently, uh, in version two release, we added Docker Pi uh, driver, so that you can manage your own Docker cluster using sending. It may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing, because that world is crazy now. So uh, we talk to OpenStack services through a single driver. Uh, we, we call it OpenStack. That is the OpenStack SDK. So we don't have dependency on, for example, Nova client, the Neutron client, all those versions. We don't want to track those, those versions. We have a single dependency that is OpenStack SDK. If you replace that SDK with something else, you can imagine you can use sending for other clouds. Okay, I shouldn't talk about that. It's OpenStack Summit. So the right hand side, we have concept uh, receiver. <coughs> Basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a socket. You can plug in your own monitoring service or application or software so that when something interesting happens uh, in the physical world, you can trigger some actions uh, on your cluster. It can be an auto scaling. It can be used for auto healing, whatever. We sending project is not doing a monitoring thing. Uh, we believe in real world uh, deployments, people already have their own preferred monitoring solution. We, we are not doing that. But uh, with receivers, you can, you can uh, hook those alerts, alarms, or notifications back to sending uh, so that sending can react to those events. So that's an yeah, uh, extensible design. And here is the policies. Uh, all these policies are already implemented today. Uh, as built-in policies. Uh, if you don't like them, you can easily uh, develop your own. It's, it's uh, pretty easy, uh, extensible. So uh, a little bit of history about the sending project. We started uh, this project late uh, 2014. Then we got accepted into the Big Ten uh, uh, last year. So, um, then we have our first release uh, this April, and now it's the V2 release. So it's pretty stable, but it's not bug free, for sure. Um, the, that's uh, uh, the general introduction about the sending project. So back to the uh, China Mobile uh, deployment. So we have a lot of uh, optimizations, we met a lot of challenges, problem, issues, whatever. 
uh, when deploying this service there and having it manage large scale clusters. For example, here is a typical uh, deployment. We have six Keystone nodes because Keystone it is, is terrible, so I will talk about that later. And uh, to uh, make sure the same API and the same engine can handle large scale um, high uh, requests, uh, we deploy three APIs and three engines. And all those uh, uh, services are deployed in, in, in Docker cluster, in, in, Docker, uh, in Docker instances. And, uh, and before that, uh, we have HA proxy, KeepLabD, to do the load balancing and redirection thing. Um, at the back end, we have uh, 500 Nova Compute nodes, and we are uh, uh, partitioning uh, these nodes into several uh, availability zones, but we didn't use uh, Reason, because our, our current experience is uh, OpenStack is pretty good. It can handle uh, 500 uh, Nova Compute nodes, no problem. We don't need a new, uh, 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 new region. And, uh, uh, here we, we, we also deployed a Synometer. Okay, it's a, I don't know, it, it's still called Synometer today. It's Tinymetry, Panko, A, whatever. Uh, we use this service to do uh, result monitoring, and the primary use case is for bidding and auto scaling. So that's the uh, deployment. Um, the starting from this slide, I will uh, share with you all about some experiences uh, when we uh, deploy this um, sending service uh, for VM cluster management. The first thing is, we did is for the hardware infrastructure layer optimization uh, to make sure uh, the network bandwidth is, uh, is ensured. So we have three NIC bonds per uh, physical node and we separate the uh, business and the management and the storage traffic from each other. So uh, that is the preparation. And for the core services, especially the InfraDB node, we use SSD because um, disk IO were found as the primary bottleneck there. The next layer of optimization is about middleware. Uh, for HA proxy, uh, we try the default config where we have uh, about three processes, but uh, soon we found that is not, not the, uh, acceptable. So we increase that number to 10. We, did, we have 10 uh, HA proxies running. And we also did some uh, optimization to the failure detection uh, in HA proxy so that the HA proxy can react quickly to uh, uh, back end service failures. Previously, this failure detection is only done through TCP, which is not that reliable. So we improved that. And the second optimization is about keep alive D. Uh, we improved the uh, exception handling in the face of um, uh, uh, network adapter failure. Uh, when such uh, an event happens, we quickly restart the uh, 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 network. And if that uh, uh, still cannot solve the problem, we, we, we reboot the node. And uh, this also helps the service availability, uh, availability improvement. Uh, so for large scale cluster uh, creation and management, there are two important issues. One is reliability and the other is, is efficiency, so uh, service availability is also very important. Uh, for RabbitMQ, we enlarge the connection pool and we enable heartbeat check so that um, to, to ensure that the, the message queue is always, uh, always uh, usable. And uh, we did something to uh, avoid, to uh, save um, uh, RabbitMQ from brain problem. That, that is still a problem today. Just kind of understand that. So we also in, uh, increase the number of open files uh, setting to um, 100,000. That's a big number. Pretty, uh, it means unlimited. So, uh, so that's the optimization about RabbitMQ. 
Uh, for MySQL database, we also enlarge that connection pool. It's very big. It's uh, also 100,000. So uh, no limit on, on this. Uh, and message, uh, MySQL is running on a very powerful machine, so that the database node won't be a bottleneck. And uh, the team uh, uh, also invested, investigated and solved the problem about the DB deadlock. So uh, if you are setting a MySQL uh, cluster in active active node, a mode, uh, one Nova request maybe want to write this uh, table, and the other uh, request may want to run that node, uh, that table. Sometimes we will have a deadlock problem. So uh, this is something the team figured and uh, solved. Um, the, for the sending uh, service itself, uh, previously we, 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 we know we are targeting a large scale cluster operation scenario, but we don't have a lot of experience. So uh, all these improvements were done gradually. Um, uh, the, the first step is we allow for a multi-engine multi deployment. And for each engine, you can enable, you can set uh, multiple uh, workers. But uh, as uh, many other OpenStack services, uh, sending is no exception, is written in Python. We still suffer from the global interpreter log problem. So we don't have real parallelism. We don't have that. Um, so uh, to solve that problem, we are uh, looking to multi-processing uh, in the future, maybe next release or the re release after the next. So um, the, the next uh, optimization is about action, action queue. Uh, when you are creating a, a cluster of 1,000 nodes, you are not supposed to send 1,000 requests simultaneously to Nova. And that is a DOS attack. So, and uh, uh, yet another factor about action uh, execution is on web, in the cloud environment, most of the requests are processed asynchronously. When you want to create a Nova server, that request returns to you and it says 202. It means request accepted, I will process it, wait. It will be handled. That's the common scenario. We cannot say, okay, you want to create a Nova server, here is it. That, 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 that is not uh, possible. So in sending, we are creating a large uh, scale cluster. So uh, we, we designed the action, execution to be asynchronous from the very beginning. Every request arriving at the same engine will be queued. It will be saved into database and executed later. Um, that's uh, the, one of the design. And uh, when we uh, started to um, schedule, the, schedule the queued action, action for execu execution, uh, we use uh, a concept similar to the Linux kernel design, is a ticklist uh, scheduling. Uh, I'm not going to dive into that detail, but it helps uh, improve the uh, action scheduling. And uh, in version 2 release, we also added a batch policy so that any class of update uh, uh, operation can be uh, performed in batch so that you can guarantee that in your cluster there is a um, uh, minimum in-service node keep, uh, kept alive. Uh, those, uh, those nodes won't be uh, uh, bring down uh, when you are updating your, your cluster. So that's an optimization. And uh, Keystone. Keystone plays a very important role in, in OpenStack. It's not just for the end user authentication. It is used for authorization sometimes. And uh, in sending, it is also used for trust or verification. And in most API pipeline, um, Keystone is also uh, using a middleware. For every request, uh, you can see if you, you, you are, um, looking at the Keystone log, you will see how busy that service is. So uh, we soon discovered this, and uh, we, uh, in the China Mobile case, we deployed um, Keystone as 
Apache plugin so that we can, we can benefit from the Apache web server design. And we improve, uh, uh, increase the number of workers for the service. And another interesting thing we did is about the token format. Uh, the default configuration is PKIZ, that, uh, the token format. And uh, we did some experiments, some uh, benchmark using a different from Metfornet. And that change has uh, two uh, results. One result is the, um, uh, when we said we, we profiled this using uh, Rally and setting the concurrency to 5,000. And if you are using PKIZ uh, to complete this uh, benchmark, we need about uh, 160 seconds. But if you turn to use Fernet, it's about five, uh, 57. That's a huge save. And also, the, uh, another side effect is the fader rate is um, greatly reduced. Previously, uh, we have about more than 400 failures, but after the, this change, we have only four. So that's a huge improvement. Um, the next optimization is about Nova. Uh, we tuned the max pool size. That's uh, not a difficult to imagine. And uh, we also uh, optimized the scheduler host subset size so that uh, the chance having Nova to schedule two VM to the same host is, uh, is not that high. So um, Nova, uh, uh, after this setting, Nova will try to pick a random node from the top 10. So uh, that's uh, greatly, uh, greatly improved uh, the, the, the service concurrency throughput. And uh, for the channel mobile uh, deployment, well, we also tuned the flavor properties so that we can ensure the host resources will be um, used efficiently. Uh, yet another uh, factor we, we, we did is uh, we use config drive. We don't use metadata service. And, uh, it, it kind of uh, common knowledge today. The Nova metadata service is not that reliable. And the last crazy thing we did is we cache all Galang's images at all compute nodes. So when you want to start a, new, uh, a, a virtual machine, you don't need to download, download that image from Galang's. So that's a huge optimization. Uh, the next thing is about neutron tuning. Uh, uh, according the, to the experiment, previously, if you are using OVS tools to distribute a flow table to change the uh, OVS DB port configuration, uh, for each record, it takes um, 0.4 seconds. That's a huge um, amount of time for this particular operation. Uh, so. Uh, the team there uh, tried to optimize this. Uh, for the restart OVS agent command, we uh, parallelized that execution. And we also uh, did some other optimization so that, uh, for example, we avoid deleting the pause uh, and the uh, flow table when we restart the OVS agent. And this patch has been merged into Liberty. And we also use local controller RYU to de distribute the flow table. That patch is also uh, merged into Liberty. Um, the last thing I I'd like to mention about Neutron is LBAS v2 today is pretty slow. Uh, for the status update, uh, previously we said the, the time out to be 10 seconds or so, but uh, it's still not enough. So we, we don't know the real deployment, how, what, what kind of a threshold would be, would be the best. So we meant that uh, LB status timeout, a configura configur configurable option. Uh, when you are deploying, sending, and attach a load balancing policy to that cluster, and you can tune this uh, number for your particular uh, setting. 
Um, the, the next open medication is about uh, uh, 10 meters, cinometer. Uh, as I have mentioned, uh, uh, cinometer is uh, very important for the China Mobile OpenStack deployment. Uh, they are using it for building purpose and also for scaling the uh, VM cluster. And uh, according to our uh, profiling result, the Cinometer plus MongoDB deployment is not a good uh, combination. It is virtually not usable. So uh, later on, we migrated to use Nochi. And uh, when we, after this uh, shift, we now can get a sample query in less than five seconds for a, a 10,000 VM deployment. So that's a huge improvement as well. Um, so after all these uh, optimizations and some others uh, I'm not mentioning today, so uh, we finally got some results. This is, these are very preliminary results. Um, don't trust us. Um, because these experiments were done in non-production environment. Uh, and when we were doing this experiment, the production environment is already online. So, uh, but it, it gives you uh, uh, still some idea. Uh, back in July uh, this year, we still have some low concurrency and failures. But uh, after a one month work, okay, things has been improved um, significantly. And, um, speaking of future works, next steps, um, the uh, Hall just mentioned, we will deploy uh, some other uh, sites uh, at Hu Hao and Harbin. Uh, both have, will have um, the 1,000 nodes also. And the next thing is about container management. We have a preliminary implementation today. We are, we are gonna go in down that direction anyway. Uh, because in, in many use cases, uh, people doesn't, they don't want to shift from OpenStack command line to Kubernetes to, 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 to whatever. They only want to use Docker as a lightweight virtual machine to run their workload, deployed, scalable, and highly available, period. So that's a simple use case, we can, we can do that. And uh, the last thing is about um, the management of sending service. Today, sending is deployed as a uh, Docker container instance. Um, if if the, the, the host node used is restarted, it fails, we have to manually start the uh, Docker uh, instance. That's, that's, that's terrible. So it's, it's not a compli complicated task. We've solved that problem as well. Um, with that, I'm pausing here and see if we have any <coughs> questions, suggestions, donations, whatever. <laughs> Thank you.